Brandon Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be diving into the status rule on Scale Insights. So this rule really helps a lot of sellers that have either a ton of campaigns running or when you're doing a product launch. In the case that you have a lot of campaigns running, you might just not be able to keep track of everything. And ACoS, conversion rate, etc. of all the campaigns, that's something that you need to keep your eye on. So with this, say you want to have uh, campaigns paused that hit a certain criteria, well, you can use this tool for that. And this really helps if you're doing a product launch because typically you'll set up new campaigns. You'll either use the SQP data from Amazon, you'll use uh, Helium 10 or Data Dive to get your keyword research. And at the start, you don't know what's gonna work. Some things might work in particular well, some things and some ad groups might not. And you don't wanna waste any more money than you need to in the testing phase. So with this, you can make sure that that's all covered. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now for this part, all you need to do is go dashboard automation and status rule. Go ahead and create a rule and you'll come to this page. And this is where you wanna put the name description is what you want, but we would recommend you kind of keep the naming structure simple, easy to read, especially if you're setting up lots of different uh, rules for lots of different campaigns, lots of different products. Keep everything very easily organized and named. Really will save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration in the future. And when that's all done, go ahead and select a criteria profile. This is where you'll be able to see what actually triggers your rules themselves. So we're gonna use this for the purpose of this video. And in the case that you don't have a criteria profile and aren't sure how to set this up, we're gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. So we're gonna move on to the next step here first. So when this criteria profiles hit, you're gonna either be able to have your campaigns paused, enabled, archived, or just not touched at all. So typically you're gonna be using it to pause campaigns or pause ad groups at the ad group level. So this is what you'd wanna have the criteria profile be for. Um, you can archive campaigns here, which is interesting, but typically you're probably gonna be wanting to do this on the manual side because you know, archiving campaigns means you can't revitalize it. So pausing campaigns is one thing, archiving them is a bit more of a permanent thing. So we recommend you do that more on the manual side and kind of look through yourself. But for pausing campaigns, it's a very useful tool. And for the criteria profile, in the case that you don't know how to get this set up, you can use any of the, the default rules if you have any on your dashboard or just go ahead and create one. So you can name it, add the description, and you can add things in as you see fit. So say you have a product with a low conversion rate, it's uh, it needs kind of more clicks before you can see whether the keyword is performing or the campaign is performing. You can say uh, that you want 60 to 80 clicks, you know, for something that's a very high priced item, that's pretty reasonable with a low conversion rate. 60 to 80 clicks, zero sales when that happens that pauses the campaign and in the case that you have single keyword campaigns skag campaigns this is where it's going to be quite useful now in the case that you really enjoy amazon ppc and scale insights videos on all the different features things you can do ppc tips you'll definitely want to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of content planned we're going to be bringing you as much value as possible so it'll all be on the channel for free. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And in the case that you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in the video, anything PPC related, leave a comment below and I'll be personally responding to all of your questions and concerns in the comment section. For those of you who don't already have Scale Insights but are looking to use the platform, we have a 10% off lifetime discount code in the description below. So if you sign up using that link, you'll get a 30 day free trial no credit card needed, so it gives you the opportunity to test out majority of the features on the platform, see what you think, test things out with your account, and then in the case you don't like it, no cost to you, but we think you'll like it, and from our experience of working with clients using this software, it provides a lot of value. So definitely have a look, see what you think, let us know in the comments what you think of the software, any questions you have, and we'll definitely see you in the next video. See you soon and have a good day.